<laughs> their longest homers this year. Well, Otani reached that today. Well, so did Mike Trout. Poor Lance Lynn. Is this the best start to a season for this superstar player in Shohei Otani? And there are many different ways you could look at the numbers. Mm -hmm. Strikeouts, he's still premium star. Yeah, I'm putting it right there with 2021. If I'm comparing the two just from the numbers, and that, that was the best year out of the three years so far. But, I mean, just the fact that he can go out there and repeat this, do it year in, year in, year in, year out. That's what's the most impressive to me. A lot of a lot of players, they have that breakout season where they go out and they ball out one season. And then, yeah, you expect them to be good, but not necessarily great every year on both sides of the ball. And he's great. Like, it's so fun to watch because I really love all the other people who say, man, he can't continue to do this. Oh, this, you know, you know the injury bug's going to catch up to him. Oh, you know he's going to get tired. Oh, you know he needs enough of that. Start. Enough of that. We need to start enjoying. Why are we worried about yes. when it's going to end? Yes. Enjoy it while we have it. it. I mean, it, uh, it never gets old. It's, it's fascinating. I love that he's able to replicate what he did in 2021 this year as well. But he didn't win the MVP last year. The guy who won the MVP last year is playing great baseball again, Aaron Judge. I was having a heated conversation with our researcher, Matt. Matt Baker, who will admit that he is a Yankee fan. And he's saying, I think Aaron Judge, his stats look eerily similar. We already showed them mm -hmm. to what he did last year. So he is very much in the mix for MVP. And I said, you know, last year what Aaron Judge did was what he had to do to take the MVP away from Otani. He had to do something historic. But I look at at-bats. How many at-bats do you affect as a human? Now, I get it. Aaron Judge plays stellar defense in right field, and he can mm -hmm. rob a home run. Mm -hmm. That's an at-bat that he affected. Mm -hmm. So let's add it all up. How many balls are at the right field? That, that adds to the right. at-bats at right. of his season. Right. He affects. Shohei Otani is an everyday DH. He gets those at-bats. Mm -hmm. And he's on the mound affecting the outcome of games in every at-bat. So a, a meaningless mm -hmm. pop-out. Right in the fourth inning is equivalent to Aaron Judge making every a line, time, a diving time, catch and right. Every time Aaron Judge goes out there and makes a dive and play, that should be equivalent to Shohei Otani going out there and striking out somebody. It's what but you, for some reason, however, thank you. However, the numbers are formulated, which I need to go behind the scenes and, and truly understand this, because I understand that by the numbers, Judge still has a higher war, war. and the runs created and all this other, yeah, the that's other where numbers. It, I, I get it, but the fact that He's literally impacting the entire game. When you're throwing every pitch for seven innings, there's no way that you can equivocate that to somebody make robbing a home run or because who gave it up? <laughs> he's not giving them up. If he doesn't give up the homer, that's the same as robbing 20 of them throughout the game, whatever it may be. He's dominant on both sides, and there's no way that I can get behind what the numbers are suggesting that somebody who's just hitting and playing defense can be on the same level as somebody who's a dominant pitcher and a dominant bat in the lineup. Otani might be breaking war. He might break wins above replacement.